Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Chris. This is my wife, Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. And it's Thursday, and it is almost 2 o'clock. And Thursdays, we've kind of decided, are going to be like our... Kind of, I don't know. What do you want to say? Like a Just relax, do whatever a, we want. A me day. So <laughs> yeah. we have two kids, and they go to school, and you know we have family time on the weekends, and we're working all through the week. So we've we've just decided to set aside more time to kind of just I guess do whatever we want, right? And so today we've gone to the gym. We've uh, just done some other stuff. Kathy's gone to the Ark while I took care of some other stuff. But right now we're in front of Goodwill. We haven't recorded anything up until this point. That's why I'm just... Yeah, so I'll show you the Ark stuff at some point yeah. in this video. But it is 2 o'clock and we are still going to do our shipping. We still got to go get the boys at like 3.30. <laughs> so we're at Goodwill. We're going to run in real quick, see if we could find some stuff. And then... Some shoes. Some shoes. <laughs> not stuff. Specifically. Chris is not going to find some <laughs> random stuff that he's never going to No. <laughs> nope. Not today. Um, and then we're going to head home. I will share what we found at Ark, or what Kathy found at Ark. And we have a few sales to pack up still. Yeah. That might be after we pick up the kids. <laughs> yeah. Not exactly sure. Um, but that's what's happening. So we're going to run in here, see what we find. All right. All right, guys. We are back. That's everything that we got. Um, found a few things that good. Well, we'll go over all that in a minute. We're gonna pull our sales. It is just after three. We have about 30 minutes. Once we pull all that out, it's gonna take up this whole Yeah, it, it's gonna clutter. So might as well get what we need to get done first, which we don't have a lot to pull today. Yeah, we have about five sales here. First one being the Speedo goggles, oh, nice. which we got at a garage sale. Actually, it was funny because our friend, Katie, um, we just went to a garage sale that I saw like posted on Facebook or yeah. something and I didn't know she even went here or like I didn't know this was a garage sale that my friend was going to be at. Because it was like, like a church was, sale, right? Yeah, so she was like part of like setting she it up. She was putting it on, yeah. But, like, I didn't know. <laughs> so we went there and it was just funny because we saw their kid first and then our kids know their kids. So they're like, hey, that's our friend. Uh, yeah, yeah. So then they were like all running and playing and I'm like still trying to figure out what's going on. Right. <laughs> but it was just funny. So that was a fun surprise. Anyhow. Cool story, bro. Uh, these sold for fourteen dollars <laughs> and plus shipping, and I paid a dollar for them. I bought like six or seven things, I think, at that day, and yeah. I paid seven bucks. So I'm just considering these a dollar. Yeah. Nothing really had prices on. They were just kind of like, "What do you want to pay?" Yeah, we kind of got there I don't early. Really like doing that. How about you tell me what to pay? So. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah, we did get there early, so they were like all setting up. So it was a nice time to catch up. Yeah. <sighs> Got to distract them from setting up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Going out to Zach. Thank you for freeing up some space in our boxes. Zach. Yeah. I uh, bought these vans. They're really cool, like Aztec print, and then the Olakais that we showed from our recent bins haul. Sweet. For a total of. $79.90 plus shipping and the vans I bought at a normal Goodwill $10.99 and then the Olakai's probably under $2 on those so thank you so much Zach hope you love the shoes Zach thank you so much for all that support man we do appreciate it um I didn't say what we're doing so is this the nope yes. so Zach's order will go in one of these big boxes and the goggles what do you think let's see um, I have eight ounces to play with. Goggles are three. I might have a small. Like, do you think that these would get like? Um, we'd have to bubble them. Is that what you're thinking? Right, bubble wrap. Like, should I just put them in like a? You have some bubble mailers, but I feel like they're too small for yeah. this. So yeah. Maybe would bubble, bubble wrap, wrap it and then put it in a mailer. I think it'd be okay. Yeah. I'll see if we have a box light enough to keep it under eight, but if not, we'll bubble and poly. I mean, I think that. even if that gets squished a little bit, I don't think it's going to break the goggles, but I guess it's... Oh! Uh, uh, tape. Yeah. <laughs> That's our little tape monster. <laughs> yeah, we uh, when we're bagging stuff, since these have these little pull tab things, they just get statically charged and they stick to everything. So we've learned to stick them on a piece of tape <laughs> and keep them rounded up. Yep, unless you want to vacuum every single second of the day. Yeah, I mean, there was days where there was a bunch stuck to Reese. What are you doing over there? I think he's... 
trimming his nails. He doesn't let me cut his nails, and it seems like he's munching on them right now. Yum. <laughs> so don't mind the munching. Uh, sold some Shape Ups on Posh for $35. I paid $9.99 for those. They're going to go out probably just in a regional bee box. Box Q, another Poshmark sale. Uh, these are some like, you can't really tell from here, but they're like a gladiator sandal. They are new with tag, although they had a couple flaws, probably just from being out of box. Bought for $7.99, accepted a $30 offer on Posh on those. What do you think's a good box for these? For Posh? Uh, yeah. A shoe box. You think? Yeah. Put a little paper in it. Yeah. Just kind of a weird shape. All right. AC, lastly, was just one of my son's old shirt. This one's been listed a while, so it has been put away. So it's peak, like a Christmas. It says nice on the front and naughty on the back. Hmm. Uh, bought this off thread up way back when for 10. They Both my kids have worn this. And I sold it for 18 free ship on Kittizen. So I'm making back all of my money plus a dollar or two extra. Very nice. And we'll do a shipping hit mailer on that. Reese, you know, you'd have a better, I could take care of that for you real quick. <laughs> he just doesn't let me. He doesn't let me. <laughs> He's an independent man. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get this stuff packed up and then we'll show you guys Everything that I think there was a couple bags in there that were already yeah. in the car. <laughs> that Goodwill stuff we just did, we only got like five things. Right. The Ark was two bags worth, and then those two bags from probably a day or two ago. So stick around, and we'll go through all that real quick after we bag this stuff. Up. All righty, got that packed up. So how you want to do this? We're gonna show. Right, is this the stuff that we just got at Goodwill? Started the video about yeah. Yeah. <laughs> five whole things for forty-eight sixty-four. It's been about. 20 minutes I let there? Chris, I'm just kidding. I don't <laughs> let him do things. He can do whatever he wants. Um, I did find this. The only reason I got it is because it is yeah. new in box. Which we actually bought the yeah. other day at a different Goodwill. Also, I only got this because it was new in box. We yeah. don't deal with really remotes that have been used in stuff. Right. Even though there's some really good pre-owned remotes that go for good money. But anyways, if it's new in box, it's super easy to deal with. And yeah. So you said 24 or something? 20? Yeah, I think it's there was two comps. One was 25 free ship and one was 25 with shipping. Okay. So. Four dollars into probably yeah. 20, 25. The thing is, this is a battery and it is um, old. So 2007 is the date on there. I'm gonna list it as is, new in box. Um, that's what the others yeah. seem to be because the battery. It like it's ripped here, but that's. Yeah, it has not been opened, but there is a little bit of a. Little break in the package so so there's that got these at me these i was debating about there's not really a lot of comps but mm -hmm. they're in good shape like you can see the sticker in there the size they yeah. might have been worn like one time they were 10.99 but i'm sure i can get at least about 30 which does over more than double my money even after mm -hmm. fees so that's kind of where my like bottom doll like where i want to at least be at the very least so yeah. I think those will sell for 30. I'm probably gonna price them at 40 and then let them just price it up if they don't sell. Yeah. In a couple months. I mean, they're cool, you know, like Edney yeah, just- it's a nice color. So, try them out. Uh, these are Vasque women's, just like a Gore-Tex hiking shoe. These do have Missing a some of a, aglets. Yeah, the laces are kind of frayed at the ends, but otherwise the tread is really good. They're a little dusty, obviously. They're hiking shoes, but the structure of them is good, and they're women's eight, and they should sell right around forty dollars plus shipping. And these were eight ninety nine. So uh, this is a brand. Did I find these before? It's like I knew about these, but I don't know if I found these before. I'm trying to think of. These are Vessi. Vessi? Right. I know we've had some Vessi. Did, are they, they all were, this were style? They Vessi? Yeah. I know I sold like that khaki pair recently. I feel like we have. Were those Vessi? Because there's another yeah. brand that is like similar that I can't think of off the top of my head. But yeah. If we think Anyways. about it, I'll put it here. <laughs> but yeah. I didn't we probably look up won't. comps on these. They are a little worn. I'm going to wash these in the washing machine since they're like a knit. 
Yeah. But the treads are still good, and they were seven ninety nine. I think these will go pre owned, even in sort of not amazing shape for at least fifty. Yeah. But yeah, we'll try to put some comps up. I could be way off. Yeah, if that other pair that I sold that I'm thinking of was Bessie, those sold for like seventy something, but they mm. were a little bit better, not much better. Anyways, lastly were these Reeboks, another pair of steel toe, just like a work shoe. These were $12.99, but since they're basically new, I went ahead and grabbed them. I think I can get at least 40, maybe 50 out of those. They were a, a small, right? A small yeah, women's women size. Yeah, six. Women six. Four. So it so. is a small size, but with them being new, I took the chance. I probably wouldn't have if they were pre-owned. Yeah. So what's that? All right, so yeah, got that in about 20 minutes or so. <laughs> this was from today, um, before Chris was with me. And I got 10 pairs plus a couple clothing. I'll just show you the clothing first. Okay. Uh, these are that Gramici or however you Gramici want to say that. or maybe Gramici. Yeah, so the first thing I saw to know that it was them is this little guy. That's their logo. It's like a little running man. And then, yeah. So these are just like a hiking short at Men's XL. Probably will sell around $30. And I paid seven. And then I found they were putting out all sorts of coats and stuff today at this location. So I, even though I was just looking at <laughs> shoes, of course I had to look for Patagonia or whatever. Right. Which I did not find, but I did find Ibex, which is definitely worth finding. Oh, yeah. Ibex so is a good one. That's five ninety nine. Uh, that logo yeah, there. Yeah, that's yeah. their logo. So. It's like a deer head, an it's Ibex head. An Ibex <laughs> is an animal. Yeah. I'm just like, they're yeah. not native to where okay, we are, so. so. <laughs> all right. So this is just like a merino wool. Shirt. Uh, I didn't look up comps. I'm sure at least 40, I want to say. Similar to like Smart Wool, Icebreaker, that kind of thing. Yeah. And then, yeah, 10 pairs of shoes. I got a pair of Beezies. I actually got two, but this is one of them. Ah. These are a women's nine. These are probably 30 to 40. Got some sketchers, just like a little rainbow, cool colorful looking. slip on, size eight and a half. These are probably about 30, 30 to 35 plus ship. Got some Y2K. Wow. Route 66 vintage. Route stock. 66. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, yeah, these were only $7.99. These will probably sell for, I want to say at least 50, maybe a little more being that they're new at tag because a lot of the pre-owns are selling around 40 yeah. in bad shape. So, I mean, these aren't, even though they're new with tag, they're a little dusty. They might not be able to get that all off, but I thought those were cool. Yeah, and that's cool one of those kind of trendy ones now. So we're gonna hopefully get it yeah. sold quick. Yeah. So before the <laughs> trend changes, right? Yes. By next summer, I do yeah. <laughs> Y2K is still gonna be the it thing. Uh, these are Ativa eight and a half slide sandal. These were seven, we'll probably sell around 30. These are Joseph Sabelle, little boot. It's just shiny at the tips, but I mean, yeah. they're in good shape. I might need to brush them slightly. They're size 39, so like at eight and a half, maybe. Those will probably sell at least 40, maybe 50. Joseph Sabelle can do well. All right, got some more Skechers, just like a nice hiking sandal, size nine. Those should go for about 30. Got some Nike Metcon, women's nine and a half. These just need a little wipe down, but otherwise good shape, treads are good. These are my size, so I tried them on, they feel good. Yeah. Like they have super padded ankles, which I love that. Hmm. And they're like a fly knit, so I love fly knit. And yeah, I think, I mean, Metcons definitely don't hold as much value as they once did, but I think I'm still around 40 on these. Yeah. Uh, these are Under Armour's Stephen Curry, I think, like a knit slip-on sneaker. Is it Stephen or Stephen, Stephen? Curry? Stephen, I don't know. I don't watch. Is this the? I don't know either. Basketball. <laughs> I was gonna say, is it, I don't watch basketball. I don't even know if it's basketball. Because I feel He's like people call him Steph Stephen Curry. Curry. Steph, Steph Curry. Curry. Whoever that person what? is. <laughs> I was gonna say guy, but th I don't even know. <laughs> so, anyways, these actually had decent comps. Uh, even pre-owned were like. 60 to 80 so we'll see how that goes 
Uh, these are men's keen size something or other 11 those will probably be around a $40 sale and there's those other beezies these ones are in really good shape size 9 so sweet probably around 35 40 on those receipt was 114.88 for 10 pairs plus yeah, that sounds like, about right. Like, like yeah. I try to be around ten dollars a pair. Plus, I got those two clothes items. Yeah. So that's a pretty good. That was a pretty good little haul for that price. Yeah. So within probably about an hour and a half of sourcing, we were able to get an entire day's worth of listing, right? Which is, which is kind of what we're trying to right. work towards. I like. Okay, the sourcing is the fun part. I like it feels more fun to do it as much as you can instead of oh wow well, yeah. we're only going to source once a week. So what? we can get to a place where we can do what we need to do in a day, but yeah. include the sourcing every day. Or at least keep aspect. it like on a weekly thing, right? Like yeah. when you source, 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 that's when you start developing those yeah. death piles, right? And I've been listing like right yeah. away. I mean, I still have stuff here that I can obviously list too, but I'm trying to like hold right. those for winter Which, slowdowns. Or you know, it slowdowns. depends on, on your situation because if we had more space, we probably would source and stock up more. Yeah. We just don't have the space right now, so... Yeah. We're in a place of just trying to get what we can when we need to list it and then list like it and flip it. I feel it. like in my head an ideal day would be like, you know, wake up, go to the gym, get the, go to a thrift. Source, come home and list it. Hopefully get 15 yeah. shoes, if not a few other items listed that day or at least be like one day different, you know? Yeah. And then. Have a little bit of a, a that buffer. That feels like it would be good. I just don't right. know that we could accomplish that at this time. Because there's days you go and you get skunked. You don't yeah. find anything, so. And then there's days where you're like trying to make it back for your kids and yeah. light traffic lights out and you're like, oh no, I didn't prepare for this. Then be. again, there's days when <laughs> it gets declared that there's a pandemic and then That's you can't true. go sourcing <laughs> for months, so. Yeah. It just, yeah, it, it, you can't prepare for everything, just right? Doing a, yes, you can every day. Is all you can do. <laughs> just do it the best you can. So, I got some of these Birkenstock. These are like the Eva, Arizona Eva ones, size 39. They have a little bit of like, it looks like maybe they were on one of those like hanging things, mm. but otherwise, good shape. Little dirt. Those usually sell around 30 to 35, sometimes 40. Uh, these I bought for myself. They're just. Target sandals that were three fifty, and I like them. <laughs> Got some Clarks. These I mainly just bought because they were basically like new. Like you can still see the sticker with the style name, and I think I can get thirty to thirty-five out of those. I don't really like these. Definitely aren't on my style. Like so, right. I was only picking these up. I think that they'll sell, but. Mm -hmm. But then there's these ones that are almost the same, and I love this color, and I feel like these are cuter. I don't really like the bow detail. Yeah, those. they got the these little are, scrunch. I like this, like, purple color. Anyways, so same thing, probably 30 or 35. Oh, this is cool. I might try these on my son, but these are Vivo Barefoot for little kiddos. Hmm. It's like a native almost, or like a play water shoe. Yeah, like a play shoe, yeah. yeah. These were, yeah, these were only 350, so... Anyways, uh, I mean, even the little kid ones, I feel like retail for 80, although those are like sneakers. These are more, these might retail for like 60. I'm sure I could get 30 to 40 pre-owned out of those, but I uh, also got these Skechers, size 10, they usually sell right around 30. What else? I got some Fit Flop booties. Hey, I did not know they made booties. <laughs> I'm always surprised. Uh, these are women's 10, so good for this time of year. We got some dance goes. I saw a post on Instagram the other day that says, a brand I don't pick up anymore, and they were saying dance goes, but I would say dance goes are one of my best selling brands, so I definitely still pick them up. I will say, like, today we saw two or three pairs in the yeah, Goodwill, and they were just not good enough. Yeah. Um, the things I really look for are toe wear, yeah, so heel drag. No heel drag. Um, I mean, these are kind of like the leather is like yeah, a little, yeah. that's fine. I try to like look right here that they're not all peeling up. up and stuff. Yeah. If they're like the Dansko XPs and have a little bit of that, but the heels are good and they're a good price, I'll still might buy them. So there's yeah. a lot that goes into it, but these were $10.99, heel, no heel drag, really good size, 43. Um, 
these should sell for 40 to 50 dollars probably in a week yeah these are another pair of dance goes but a sneaker size 39 so those are probably around 40. Uh, we got some Merrill size 7 I think yep and another pair of Merrill boots perfect time of year size 7 probably from the same person and some sketchers so a lot of bread and butter stuff a couple yeah. good gems in here yeah but mostly just stuff to keep our stores afloat and make money every day oh i didn't i pulled those out but these are just tea collection little corduroy short size four those will probably sell for like 15 dollars. yeah but i paid two sweet yeah so pretty good day I mean, even that other haul was probably less than an hour. I think I got those while my kids were at Taekwondo one day. Oh, yeah. Which is about, with me driving there and forth, you I got probably like only 30 got 30 five, minutes in yeah, the store. Minutes. So probably less than two hours, maybe two and a half to get all that. I at mean, least a couple days worth of work yeah, for us. Yeah, two days at least worth yeah. of work. So I'm very happy with that. Sweet. And it is Thursday, so we will be listing some stuff tonight on our live. This video should be going out Friday, I believe. Um, we try not to put videos out on Thursdays because we do our live show. And I think they, they just kind of compete with each other at that point. So this video will be going out Friday. So yeah, hopefully you guys came and hung out with us on Thursday Night Live. We do go live every Thursday, 8 p.m. Mountain Time. We're live usually about two hours and we usually get some work done. <laughs> Sometimes we uh, spend the first half of the stream trying to figure out what's going wrong with the stream, but uh, we usually at least get a little bit of work done, hang out, answer questions, all that fun stuff. We'd love to see you there. Um, I'm not sure how this weekend is going to be as far as being able to put videos out, but we will be back and putting videos out next week. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I think that's going to do it for this one. We do have to go get the boys from school. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.